Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Justin Reacts. Watching episode six of season two of Star Trek Picard. You'll notice that I'm in a different setup today. I am on vacation visiting a family. I'll be back home soon, but I've got some time today. So we're gonna watch the episode two of one. Picard is going to crash a gala, so let's crash it with him. Also, I don't have the camera yet. It'll happen soon. Again, thank you all for being patient and for joining me on this adventure. Let's see what's out there. Doing the recap and uh, talking about how Q went back in time, changed the presence. I had a thought about how Picard of season two is being more accepting of the Borg and the Borg Queen than he was in season one. And I find that interesting. So, uh, I wonder what happened in the past year and a half that made him more accepting. Was it his time on the artifact? I don't know. Maybe they'll talk about it at some point. Maybe they won't. Also, did you all see the, the uh, trailer for Season 3? The main cast is back. It will be interesting to see. I wonder if Brent Steiner, Spiner will be uh, playing... Dr. A.I. Soon again for season three. Or it will be flashbacks to Data again. Who knows? So, the Europa mission, and I'm taking this, I imagine this is before the Saturn mission with uh, Colonel Sean Jeffrey, uh, Sean Jeffrey Christopher, you know, from the uh, original series, I'm guessing. Because we weren't actually given a specific date for that mission. I should work out the timeline of stuff that happened in the 90s and early 2000s, one of these days, and write it down. Whoa, Jean-Luc laying on the floor, blood out of his mouth. What is going on? Interesting. 34 minutes earlier. funny little thing so I wonder if he has feelings ha liar liar pants on fire
Gujarati. Now, does she do that because she's strong or because the nanoprobes magnetize the lock? I wonder if they'll explain that. Gerardi and the Borg Queen as one. That is going to be interesting. And I am looking forward to seeing how this development is going to evolve. Will Gerardi be the new Borg Queen? Oh! Is Gerardi going to be the Clockwork Borg? Is that what sets things in motion? Oh, curious. Very curious. Huh. I don't... There is just too much there to speculate. The thing with time travel is... If it's a closed loop, things have to go a certain way. If it's... And open-ended, it can go any which way, but you'll never be in the same timeline again. And then there's a third way of time travel, which I can't think... A dynamic. And if it's dynamic, you'll always manipulate it. But, um... That can always just mess with things. Kind of like Marty McFly ends up in the future, or in the present... Our past in 1985. And for him, it's a uh, hellscape because his family isn't his family. Everything is just slightly different. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you? Anyway, leave a comment if you get what I'm saying. Oh, this episode is one of the Jonathan Frakes directed episodes. It's going to be good. Oh, a hospital, huh? 26 minutes. I wonder if it's the same hospital that Rios went to earlier. I put uh, dollars to donuts it is. There's Rene Picard. I didn't get a good look at that flag. All right, let's see. 3, 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. And then it went away. All right, so 5, 10. Ah, that was too fast again. I'm going to have to count the stars on the flag later. All right, wait. I could just do this. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, still 50 star flag. And now I'm saying that because remember in Next Generation when they encountered the, uh, I think it's the Charbridis, uh, and the Casino Royale. It was a 52 star flag. Oh, but that was 2038, wasn't it? So, um, 
that's not for another 14 years from when this series has taken place. Which means, what is the 51st state? D.C.? Puerto Rico? Does California get split in half? Leave a comment. Let me know. Oh, what are the proper pronouns? Hmm. Interesting. People need to learn how to talk in their heads when they know that they're talking to somebody in their head. I mean, when they know that they're sharing an entity in their heads. I'm glad that you're getting a club soda. Uh, alcoholism, drug dependence is difficult to deal with. Oh, real cigars. Rios is loving this. Yeah, you do like the Dr. Rios. Yeah, no, Rios. You can't bring her to the future with you. You can't stay in the past. It, it will fuck up the timeline. The timeline's already fucked up. Y'all remember Star Trek IV. I hope you already saw Star Trek IV. That was the whole fuck the timeline. That's not Eleanor. You're seeing things. You need to see a therapist. when you get back to your century. In the meantime, talk to somebody about it.
Where is the combat? Or combat. Why is the communications going through? Is the Borg Queen blocking her out? Rios does care about you. Increased strength. Nanoprobes. Planet by ear. Class of Picard. That must be quite the shock. Quite the shock having a uh, someone centuries in the past say have your name say your name. So, Dr. Soong. How did Dr. Soong get the money to be a... He must have had money from Q to be a major donor to the... Wait, but he would have had to have the money already because he needed the funding, which we got cut off, to uh, do the research, the genetic research for his daughter. Right? Now, unless that funding was separate than the donations he was making to the Europa mission, someone who's a financial analyst would need to work this out. I am not the right person to ask about this sort of thing. Yeah. But... I guess security is the, going to be the people who knocked out Picard. Or maybe he tried to get away and fell. We're going to find out when the commercial break is over. Uh, but in the meantime, if you ever go back in time, um, I've thought about this a bit. And the commercial break's over, so I'll get into it later. So, I'll get back to that 14 minutes earlier.
Oh, Nano Electronic Pulse, huh? So yeah, the nanites are probably what made her be able to boop. I wonder if uh, that's actually her singing. Very well done. Very well done. I like that song. Dangerous. Ah, those dark eyes. Wises of the mall. Fear is powerful, but you also need to manage it, and it is very difficult. I do deal with fear quite a bit. Anxiety and depression does that.
flashback again. Very slick Picard, very slick. And by Picard, I mean JL, not Renee. It's just weird, does Renee Picard sound American? I would like to visit Europa. All right, there we go. guess you're going to have to go to the mission uh, with Dr. Um, what's her name? I forgot her name. Oh, jeez. Why can't I think of her name? You know, the, the one that Rios likes. Hmm. Anyway, uh, time travel. When I was younger, I was very adamant about not messing with the timeline. If I go back in time, stay out of the way, try not to screw around. But the older I've gotten, the more I've realized I don't remember things well enough to know how to keep out of things. So if I end up going into the past at any point, I'm not going to worry about dicking around too much because things already suck. And it's going to be really hard for me to make things get worse. Now, I'm not going to actively try to make things better because uh, unintended consequences. What I'm going to do is try to take it easy and help those around me, but not, you know, try to fix the world because that's not going to work. What would you do? Let me know. Leave a comment. In fact, uh, if you go to my website, I'm going to put a form in there and uh, put some of these questions in that. So, uh, yeah. Let me know. Alright. Commercial break is over in 10 seconds. So, we're getting back to it. I wonder why LA and not San Francisco. Because whenever they go back in time, it's always San Francisco. Except for maybe City on the Edge of Forever. I think that was New York. He has had some transplants. All of them. How would being an organic cyborg, or cyborg, an organic robot work? And I mean, work with uh, medical equipment 
as we can see, it almost shorted out the uh, defib, the defibrillator. Oh, curiouser and curiouser. That is something new to ponder when dealing with artificial life. All right, uh, by artificial life, I mean um, synthetic life. This artificial is a construct. You know, what is real? What is a human? Am I a human? Are you a human? Because I'm substantially different than humans a thousand years ago. Failure is relative soon. Failure is relative. You've gotten her this far. You didn't fail. Honesty is important. The Kolat Milaj, I can't pronounce it. I was even watching season one the past couple of days. Oh, someone remind me to look up to see if that really was Jurati singing. And by Jurati, I mean the actress uh, Allison Pill. More Spanish should be used, honestly. Good guys never say that. Hmm. I wonder if Soom took part in the eugenics wars. And the Shenzhen con conventions, what that had to do with the eugenics wars. unless they redefined the era of the eugenics wars. Because remember, the eugenics wars were in the 90s during the Clinton administration. I mean, they didn't say the Clinton administration uh, in the original series, but they did say the 90s. And in the books, they said it was the uh, Clinton administration and that the Clinton administration covered it up. Oh, 
Oh, are you a clone? Persephone is your sister. Remember, the Sooms were geneticists up until the 22nd century. Not that you'd know that, of course, but you all would know that. Oh, one of them had multiple sclerosis. MS. I can't pronounce that. MS. Pardon me. I would imagine you're a clone. I imagine he cloned you. I wonder if Khan will be referenced. All right, commercial break. Um, I was going to say something about something and it completely escaped my mind. So, I'm going to go back to what is a human? Because there really isn't a definition for humans. Uh, like, you know, you and I, we're humans. Um, I mean, unless someone in the far future is watching this. I might not be considered a human in the way that you are because of evolution. Or you might be a cyborg, or you might be a synthetic intelligence of some sort. And if you are, hello from 2022. In the meantime, how we are as humans is different from a thousand years ago, a million years ago because we are continuously changing. We are always evolving. How we function, how our insides work, it's different. Commercial break over. Maybe it's trauma that's keeping them knocked out. That pen is an interesting version of what Gary Seven had. How do you, uh, you probably do know about that. Whoops. Wrong button. Don't want to get copyright violation. Yeah, sorry about that uh, noise sound all of a sudden.
got to try. I'm sorry. Yeah, tons could go wrong. Dr. Girati walking down the street. Yep. So that's the episode. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment. I will put the forms up uh, on my website. Until uh, next week, unless you're watching Halo as well, then until next episode.